What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, back with another video. So, you probably know by now that we do a lot of tips and tricks videos, right? Well, obviously, it's in the name of the channel. I, yeah, it's right there. But we haven't really ever done a video, you know, where we just speed through a bunch of just shorter tips because, you know, usually we, we go into more detail and we get a tad bit more advanced, right? So, instead of just doing that in this video today, so excited, man. We're going to be going over 20. Yeah, I said 20. That's a lot. 20 amazing tips that everybody needs to know for season three. And keeping it somewhat short so we can just get through more of them. Okay, so many of them may seem minor, but I assume, you know, a lot of you pro players out there, hey, take advantage of all these all the time, all right? And finally, okay, so the last thing before we get into this first tip, let me know in the comments which small tip helps you a ton in Fortnite. I'm really, really curious to hear, man. And maybe, you know, if we end up doing a part two, yo, you'll, you'll probably see your tip there. And with that being said, Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? Come on, it's time to sit back, come on, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Everybody scream this out, here we go. It's that Bunch of Crunch, and let's get this going, here we go. All right guys, so the first tip in this video, break under chest. This super simple tip is gonna help you guys a ton in early game, especially if you're the type to just run out of materials quite a bit. I know I go through that. When you come across, you know, a chest on the ground, go ahead and break the floor under it, right? This is gonna give you 10 to 15 materials from the floor along with all the loot from the chest, just for, you know, an extra two seconds of time, right? The same goes for furniture as well. All right, second up, if you're ever playing a tournament, be sure to check the point format and adjust your strategy based on which play style is more rewarded. Each and every event, man, it's different. So it's always just worth taking a look. Some events, you know, reward a passive play style while others reward a more aggressive approach. You're gonna do so much better in events if you're always sure to check on it. All right, number three is the good old RPG shotgun trick. All right, so if you have an RPG and a shotgun in your inventory, shoot the RPG out of box and try to time your shotgun, you know, to hit the opponent. But this is a simple, you know, cheeky way to get some damage off and it works almost every time. All right, guys, so another similar tip to the last one is the RPG harpoon trick. All right, this technique is similar to the RPG shotgun one, but instead of just timing the shotgun shot, you can actually shoot your RPG and just time a harpoon gun shot to, to just break your opponent's wall. So before doing this, just note that if you're using a harpoon gun, then this can be you know done against a wooden wall or any other wall under 150 HP. This is just a lot more powerful than the RPG shotgun trick, but does require more specific loadout and often more precise timing. All right, it's also worth noting that, you know, you can do this with a heavy sniper as well or any other weapon that can just one shot a wall. All right, guys, next up. Okay, if you haven't already, definitely consider turning on this setting, all right? Confirm edit on release. This setting basically makes it so instead of just having to press your edit button once to start an edit, then select the tiles, then press it again to confirm. Now, you know, you only have to just press your edit button once, select the tiles, then the edit is done for you. It saves so much time and can definitely make you faster, you know, and just much a better editor, right? Some people prefer the old way like Booga and Clicks, I get it. But for newer players or those of you who are just already used to it, confirm edit on released is definitely better okay so while we're on the topic of settings be sure to turn on auto open doors as well so if you ever accidentally edit a door you can just get through it anyway and on top of all of that if you ever run into a door it'll open up for you which is pretty convenient to have that in general right let's work Okay, so real quick, you guys got to check out our website, ProGuys.com, where we have so much more awesome content from courses on basically every topic in Fortnite. I mean, we got live classes and pro coaches and 24-7 on-demand coaching from our top players that can really help bring your game to the next level. Seriously, man, what are you waiting for? Come on now, greatness is waiting on you. All right, so the next tip is a sort of a mentality thing, all right? Performance trick, here we go, is to take frequent breaks while you play. Yeah, you need a time out, guys. <laughs> yeah, get some fresh air, you know what I'm saying? Drink some water, grab some bunch of crunch, do something, all right? Trust me, Fortnite can be seriously draining mentally at times. I get it, oh my goodness, especially you having one of those days and things are not necessarily going the way you planned it, all right? For your own sake, take breaks while playing. If you sit there for like 12 hours straight, not only is it going to be super bad for your health, but it's also going to make you play worse over time, and it can even result in just long-term issues, all right? 
Okay, so for you controller players out there, try to learn the claw grip. All right, the claw grip is a special way of holding your controller that allows you to press more buttons at once. Really, to put it simply, I mean, this is going to help you guys a ton mechanically and allow you to do more things at once. Almost every pro player either uses a controller with paddles, you know, the claw grip or both. So if you're looking to step up your mechanical game, taking the time to learn, it's definitely worth it. If you don't know what the claw grip is, check out the other video on our channel named How to Use Claw Grip for Godly Aim and Builds in Fortnite. It's a bit older, but it's still completely relevant. All right, the next tip is use hard materials in W key situations or when you get shot at. Surprisingly, okay, listen to this, man. Like the most common issue that a lot of people seem to have when they're getting W keyed and pressured is using weak materials, man. They just, you just get it shot down. So let me tell you this, man. Whenever you're getting W keyed, especially if you want to reset the fight, you know, or heal, you know what I mean? You want to give yourself enough cover. A simple wooden box, that's not going to do anything. You know, they may have been good, you know, back in the day. Not anymore, man. Like pretty much every time you get shot at or pushed, you should be using either brick or metal to cover yourself, all right? It just seems silly at first, but genuinely, it makes a huge difference in the game. Next up is an OG box fighting trick that surprisingly still works well and really isn't utilized nearly enough. Okay, this technique is called the Martos Classic. The Martos Classic is a simple way to really just bait your opponent into expecting one edit and then just surprise them with like another edit to get the kill. All right, so to do it, simply just edit a triangle on the top right of a wall, right? Then immediately edit the exact opposite triangle on the bottom left. All right, so this is really super simple, man, and it really just works against even some of the best opponents that you're gonna come against. So be sure to use it whenever you see an opportunity to do it, all right? All right, so we're halfway through the list. First of all, I just wanna thank you for sticking around. Thank you so much, I feel so honored that you're here. All right, but real quick, before we move on, I wanna just remind you that if you want more awesome tips like these and depth guides and even courses about things Fortnite, you know, be sure to check out ProGuys.com, all right? So now for the 11th up on our list is a super helpful tip for all you competitive players out there or even people who even play arena or just play for wins, you know, normal matches. And that's to play for the dead side of zone during the first storm. During the first zone, the storm circle is usually on the edge of the map in a certain area. So almost the entire lobby is rotating into the part of zone that's closest to the center of the map, right? Take for example, a zone around holly hedges and sweaty sands. So you can see that almost every POI in the entire game, Pleasant Park, Retail Row, Lazy Lake, Frenzy Farm, I mean, I can go on all day, are going to end up rotating toward the part of zone near the middle island. So to avoid all the chaos that's gonna be, you know, that's going down everywhere, right? You could just set yourself up on the quiet side or dead side of the zone to run into less players and to really just kind of sort of just hang out, man, and chill, no stress, right? In this example, basically nobody is rotating around the west coast of the map because everybody is mostly toward the middle, AKA the crazy side of the zone. So if you ever want to avoid engagements and just play out mid game safely, be sure to play the dead side of the first zone. The 12th tip on this list for, you know, all you mouse keeper players out there, and that is this, try out optimal keybinds, all right? Optimal keybinds are basically the most high quality keybinds available that allow you to control your movement fully while still building and editing quickly. The set of keybinds most people consider optimal, okay, is the top mouse side button for wall, C or V for floor, which you press with your thumb, the bottom mouse side button for ramp, left shift for cone, and pretty much anything for trap, along with E to edit. These basically allow you full movement control and extremely fast mechanics with really no downsides. Okay, so if you ever are looking to improve your keybinds or even feel like your skill is just kind of starting to like plateau, try out optimal keybinds, that may be a great thing for you. All right, next up, we've got one of the most important tips that you're gonna ever hear in Fortnite. Gotta check this out, especially if you're trying to play competitively, guys, and that is, yo, you need to VOD review. Okay, VOD reviewing is pretty simple. It really just consists of just looking back at your own gameplay, right? And reviewing it to see where you need to improve on. You know, we're not gonna go too in depth, you know, during this video for time's sake, but if you wanna learn more about VOD reviewing, be sure to check out our other video called The Perfect Guide to VOD Reviewing, because that's gonna tell you everything that you need to know.
All right, so if you're ever taking your opponent's wall and you're about to do a mongrel classic, consider using a cone instead of a ramp, which is often referred to as a mongrel cone classic. This basically is gonna force your opponent into a wide open space and really gives them nowhere to go. It really is super easy and you know usually allows for a quick kill. But when you do this, guys, you got to keep this in mind <laughs> that it's best used when your opponent is low or if you need to end the fight super fast. It's sometimes risky to perform this on its own since a good opponent will attempt to shoot back, obviously, but it's still very helpful in that type of situation because it forces them into an open space while you have an easy peek on them. Early game has always been one of the most crucial parts of Fortnite, and for the majority of us, early game is definitely the hardest part of the game to really be consistently good at. Do you agree? One simple way, you know, really to make early game much easier is to master a really, really good loot route. That's gonna make your life <laughs> just a whole nother level of simpler and easy, right? And convenient. A loot route is like, it's a pretty simple concept. I mean, it's really just means a specific route that you follow off spawn, that you have mastered down to a T from every chest and ammo crate to every material stack, et cetera, right? If you could just find a drop spot, then head into creative and just find a route within that drop spot to follow, then you're gonna start to find yourself surviving so much more often simply just due to the fact that you know where you're going. You know, you know where all the loot spots are and you're always gonna just walk out of the early game, you know, with just a great loadout. All right, so next up, we've got a simple concept called bush peeking. All right, let me ask you a question, guys. All right, have you ever been insta-killed by someone sitting inside of a giant bush? If you have, this is perfect for you. Instead of just simply just walking into a bush to check for people, you can simply build one ramp above it and then just look from the top. And if there's someone in the bush, you see their head super clearly and you get an easy kill. If there's nobody in the bush, well, all right, well, I guess you don't have to fight, good for you. If you ever have a giant build battle in game, all right, which a lot of us do, make sure you're not afraid to break down builds. Seriously, man, like breaking down builds that are high up is such an easy way to get free kills and not enough people really do it because breaking down is frowned upon, I guess, for some reason. I know someone that got two easy kills in a cash cup game, right? Because they broke down a giant build fight that two people were in. It took 10 seconds of shooting, right, on their part, and it was super easy. Whether you're looking at another fight or if you're in your own fight and, you know, you head to the bottom to break it, don't be afraid to break down builds. So if you've ever watched a pro player in a tournament playing solo, you might notice that when they see a player facing the opposite way, instead of just taking shots the instant that they see the player, they crouch walk up and then hit an insane beam. All right, this is crouch sneaking, guys. A relatively unknown strategy that really works wonders in tournament play and in casual play as well. It really is really simple, man. Like when you see someone facing away from you, instead of just shooting instantly and just missing shots because you're too far away, get up closer so that you can just hit a fat laser instead. It really only takes a few seconds and they're almost guaranteed not to hear you. This is so easy to do and really makes a massive difference if you do it right. Next up is a simple rule that's really gonna help you avoid those awkward storm fight situations that we've all been in, and it's just to always rotate early. Yeah, this sounds like such a simple, basic tip, but not enough people do it, and I'm one of them. Sometimes I get caught up in my game, and I'm just, you know, I, I get it. You get caught up in a battle, and get caught up in a 1v1, and, and you're just in it, right? And you think you could just take this person out, it's gonna be super easy, and then it just drags. So pretty much every single time you, you get held in a storm, it really is because you let a fight last too long or you didn't rotate early. And really as a general rule, man, if the first circle is away from you, but not too far, try to leave your drop spot within one minute or so on the clock. If it's pretty far away, okay, try to rotate with around two minutes. Obviously these are sort of general, but it really ultimately depends obviously on your drop spot and your play style. And number 20 on the list, whew, man, I can't believe we made it this far. The final tip <laughs> is to describe to our YouTube channel. No, I'm just playing. No, but you can do that if you want. Follow me on Insta too. <laughs> no, I mean, if you want. All right, guys, you gotta practice awkward edits. So an awkward edit is basically like any edit that you can make in an awkward situation. Like if you're stuck against a wall or you're under a ramp, 
or anything like that, all right? If you practice these awkward edits, you're gonna be just much more prepared for these situations and it's honestly gonna help you a ton. So this is what you gotta do. You gotta practice, man. You gotta practice these edits as well, you know, on top of your usual editing practice so you're just well prepared next time you're in an awkward situation, especially if you tend to choke on your edits in game, all right? I've been there, I know, and it sucks. So practice is definitely gonna take your game to the next level. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta, your motivation guy. So proud of you, man. I believe in you, man. This is your season. Believe it. Own it. You know, just erase what happened last season. This is a brand new season, man. So do your best, man. Keep grinding, getting creative, and never, never surrender, all right? Also, check out Pro Guys Community Discord, you know, in the description where we host some awesome events and really we have an amazing community along with the Pro Guys subreddit, r slash Pro Guys, where you can find even more content. And be sure to also to let us know your favorite small tip in Fortnite. And while you're at it, go ahead and drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you like to see more. And I hope you do because I want to see more of you. Keep going, man. We'll see you soon. Keep Island. Peace.